this up to you guys. You brought it up earlier, Zoe, talking about that comment you got when you just wanted the Astros to lose. I know as a fan, I should hate the Astros like a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to like to some friends the other day. I do, but I don't like I don't have that level of hatred that like I think the majority of like the people who are, you know, watching these games do. Like even like when they when they like that series against Boston when they came back, I was like I wasn't like fuck, like fuck Houston or like fuck can't believe they fucking won. I was just like, wow. Like what a comeback. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, was like, I don't know why. I don't want like because what they did was like, I mean, we all agree. Like, even I think Chris Bryant was one of the guys like, yeah, no, like what they did is like worse than guys using steroids. <laughs> and I think that was like a thought for like a lot of uh, players. Yep. But like I, just, I, mean, I don't know why I don't have like that like deep hatred for them that like I feel like I should. Like I don't know. It's worn off on me over time. Like I, mm -hmm. I had, the original I was fucking pissed, but I don't even it's not even the cheating thing. It's actually it's after getting caught cheating. It's the lack of contrition. That pisses right. me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah more. Sure. It makes me dislike the Astros fans more. How about you say they fucked up and move on? Like it's like it's like Sammy Sosa not admitting that he, you know, there's blatant obvious evidence, circumstantial or you know, private evidence that proves that 100% he took steroids. If he just said I took steroids, it's over. I'm sorry. I didn't I, I'm sorry. I took steroids. Done. It's over. You're forgiven. Like it's it's good. But the the lack of contrition can creates this spiral effect and a snowball effect that makes just it makes it worse. That you know, it's like a liar won't believe anybody else or you know those old phrases or whatever. They create their own environment by being so standoffish about it. It's like it reminded me of Roger Clemens when he was accused of steroids. Instead of just he punched forward. He he he, he you push forward with a lie. And so it makes it very hard for you to A respect them or B to know who's full of shit and who's not. And you know, all of that stuff all rolls into this and it creates this, 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 I mean, honestly, I don't know a fan that's not a Houston fan that likes Houston, like really likes Houston. Um, it's because they, and it's not, I don't, I, I, again, the cheating stuff that was four years ago, this group isn't cheating, but they, they, they're members of this team that did and haven't come clean and just said, yeah, well, yeah. Cause again, if you're going to lie, lie big, right? right? We've learned that from politics and, and sports in the steroid era. If you're going to lie, just lie big. Uh, you know, Mark McGuire can tell you right to the face with a you know a needle in his ass. I did not take steroids. They, that's what they're doing. They just get, look over here, misdirection. So I mean, that's what made it worse for Houston. I, that's what made me dislike Houston more. The mm -hmm. cheating stuff. Let's be honest. Their other teams were doing it. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's the other thing. Where like, well, but <laughs> and when people say that, well, the other ones got caught because they were the last ones. And then I had somebody try to say that because Houston was so innocent, that's why they got caught. I'm like, so you're telling me that the dumbest franchise in baseball instead. <laughs> right. 